Tonight at 8 on your site, consumer alert for those who need EpiPens to treat allergy attacks. The pharmaceutical company that sells the injectors has buckled under the public pressure and will now lower the out-of-pocket cost for some patients. Mylan will now offer a savings card to cover up to $300 of a patient's copayment. Other low-income customers could get the devices for free. Mylan came under fire for raising the price of a standard two-pack of EpiPens to about $600 over the past several years, a 400% price increase in just eight years. To be clear, Mylan is not lowering the list price of its very expensive auto injector. It's still charging that $600 for the pack of two. They're offering the savings coupon for some with restrictions. But there is another option for Bay Area families. A company called the Canadian Med Store is offering to sell EpiPens at a huge discount. Paul Mueller is live in Tampa tonight at one of the six locations that are offering this. Uh, this is a story you'll only see on News Channel 8 too, Paul. And we're talking about huge savings. I mean, instead of $600, people can pay $180. What's the catch? That's right. Well, you know what? I sat down exclusively with the company's founder here tonight, and he assures me, Keith, there are no catches. He insists that it is the same type of EpiPen you'd find if you went down to your local pharmacy, although you'd be paying a whole lot less. A life-saving drug for patients with potentially deadly allergies. That's why 43 million Americans keep an EpiPen close at hand. Since 2008, the price pharmacies pay for an EpiPen 2-pack has soared from $100 to $600. Some patients are left in limbo. I have to protect and provide life-saving medication for my child. And at the current trend, I worry... How are we going to pay for this in the future? That's outrageous to Bill Hepsher, the founder of the Canadian Med Store, based right here in Tampa Bay. And there's a lot of folks in this community that are struggling to get by and simply can't afford to pay a $700 cost for prescription. So here's how he does it. The company gets their clients' prescriptions from international pharmacies. So Eight on Your Side wanted to know if these drugs are dangerous. Is your product as safe as the product that Mylan produces. Yes, it is. It may not be regulated by our FDA. Instead, it's policed by the equivalent organization in foreign countries. If they fill a prescription from our pharmacy in England or in Canada, um, it would be the exact same medication that they would fill if they walked into the pharmacy in Winnipeg or if they walked into the pharmacy in London, England, or if they walked into the pharmacy here in Tampa, Florida. Now, businesses like these are called facilitators. They're not actual pharmacies. And while they assure me that their prescriptions are safe, the FDA has concerns that some of the drugs could be counterfeit, expired, or simply unsafe, Keith. Well, some people may be reluctant to buy from a business like this. Mm -hmm. What do people need to know, Paul, before they make this move? Yeah, great question. You know, the FDA recommends that people find a company that requires a prescription first off, and then, secondly, one that is licensed, Keith, by a third party. All right, Paul Mueller, live in Tampa with the story that everybody's talking about. Thank you, Paul. Yeah.